All right, so one day I was like in sixth grade or something, and there was this library you could go to if you didn't have a class that period. And while we were searching the books, we came across the absolute greatest thing of all time. It was the book Coffee Will Make You Black by April Sinclair. Now, first of all, me and my friends thought that this title was absolutely hilarious, and we just made fun of it all day. But then, we got into the actual book, and one of the very first few pages I randomly turned to was an actual sex scene. And we were in sixth grade, so this became known as the forbidden book, but also the greatest book of all time. Days would pass by, I'd go to the library and read Coffee Will Make You Black. Until one day, my friend reported it to the librarian and was like, Oh, uh, blah, 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 I don't think this is very child-friendly. And the librarian was like, Oh, okay, I see. And then she took it away! I was absolutely distraught by this news. This book was my life. And to see it taken away from me, I cried. But then the next day, it was back in his place, so oh well. Oh, how I reflect on this book. I should have just stole it off the library and never gave it back. It was such a precious book. But no, I didn't steal it. I had actually stolen another book. I was in fourth grade and I took a book from the library because I really liked it. I brought it home and took off all the covering and stickers that indicated it was from the school. And I just passed it off as if I owned the book from then on. I was such a gangster fourth grader. It was a warrior's book. A book series about cats who have like clans and declare war on each other or something. It was a good series. I wonder where that book is now. And the same goes for Coffee Will Make You Black. Wish I'd stolen that book too.